Hey guys, it's Patrick1969, and uh, it's another Robot Damashi review. And so this time we're taking a look at the X1 or Crossbone Gundam. Very, very neat suit. It's very tiny, too. Tinier than I expected. But uh, anyways, if you saw my F91 uh, Robot Damashi review, then um, and you liked it, you'll most likely like this one. This Gundam comes right after the uh, F91 movie. Shows up in the mangas. And uh, with that being said... I'll be showing you articulation and giving a price point on him and uh, showing you all his little accessories. So uh, let's go ahead and start the review. And so you get a lot of great stuff uh, about this figure um, that is a must buy. But anyways, uh, there are also a number of things that hurt this figure. Um, the number one thing, which you probably have been noticing already, is the flimsiness that comes in the torso. That's actual articulation. You can bend this guy this much far back, which is kind of unnecessary. You don't know, I don't know what they were kind of thinking over there at Bandai, but um, in any case, you can do that. You get ball jointed shoulders, of course. The armor is connected to the shoulder, so wherever it goes, the armor goes as well. Double jointed arms or elbows, sorry, they go that far, that far up. Um, ball jointed hands, double jointed knees. As you can see, the skirt armor as well is independent, so it can move. Leg goes up about that high. You also get ball jointed ankles and uh, double jointed feet, so you have that articulation in there. You had a little bit of a ball jointed skirt or ankle armor as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the thrusters are a little bit articulated. They can move all sorts of directions like that. The uh, thrusters themselves, the cones there, they don't move. So, um, but that's okay. You get, a, of course, a ball jointed head, and uh, yeah, the skirt armor on the side also moves. The back skirt armor moves as well so that's pretty cool Got butt flaps right there and uh, that's it now other little things that can move around are these little uh, kneecap things they show little vents that you can see kind of like the F91 and then you also get these little beam generators on the forearms they can go like that and uh, they come in on all the uh, X Gundams, the crossbone Gundams, but anyways, uh, that's it for articulation. Let's go ahead and show the accessories now. Okay, for accessories, you get a number of cool little things, and uh, they range from the pretty basic to the, um, well, just different. So, of course, you're going to get your, uh, well, let me show both of them. You're going to get your beam saber, or beam saber. Here we have the more traditional one, where it's very, very long in terms of its blade. Simple hilt right there, and it just plugs in like so. Uh, it doesn't store on the mobile suit itself, unfortunately. And then you get this one, <clears throat> which is more of like a pirate cutlass. And I uh, hope this is the right way to hold it. But anyways, very, very wide blade, very different. That's very neat. Now the cool thing is that this actually doubles as another weapon. So you, what you want to do is take your beam pistol, which kind of resembles a flintlock there. And uh, let me just show it by itself for a minute. See right there. This can actually, the handle can move down. And this part can actually be swung up. So now you have your full weapon. I forget what this is called. Someone, someone down, or uh, someone watching this video will probably post it in the comments below. But this is the full weapon. It's supposed to be really powerful, from what I've heard. I uh, don't know if that's true or not, but um, yeah. There's that. <coughs> Excuse me. You also get a selection of different hands as well. As you already saw on this pistol right here, you get a trigger finger hand, which also doubles as the beam saber holding hands. You get two of those. You get two dynamic posing hands, or open jazz hands, as you can see. And then you also get a spare head, where if you can see it, it has kind of a mustache. It's very weird. Anyways, uh, last few things are um, pretty cool. And you get this cape thing that goes over the mobile suit itself. I'll 
show you how it looks on the figure in just a moment. You get an actual physical combat blade. Very neat. And then you get this beam spike, which actually fits into the forearm of this uh, beam portion of its forearm there. Very cool. I really like this a lot. Too bad it only came with one. <clears throat> but anyways, let's go ahead and show you what this figure looks like with the cape on. I stopped halfway through putting this, she this cape on just because I wanted to show everybody this. Um, the way you put this cape on is that there's this little piece of armor that's on the front chest of the Gundam. You gotta pop this off, but uh, it's in there quite snug. <clears throat> Very snug, actually, uh, because of this peg. So uh, once you get that off, though, it shouldn't be any problem. There are also peg holes in the shoulder armor as well to fit these peg uh, pegs themselves from the uh, cape to fit in there. Um, you can take the head off uh, as well to make it easier on yourself. You can also take the thrusters off as well. But uh, I don't do that just because it might put stress on the plastic for the thrusters. and That's the last thing I need. So anyways, let's see if I can do this without having to turn off the camera. And uh, I don't think it's going to work. So with the cape on, now we all have to, or no, the only thing we have to do is put the head on. And there we go. There we have the crossbone Gundam with his little cape on. A very, very cool look. And so with that being said, I guess now we can go ahead and just dive right into how much this guy usually costs. With the head replaced and a few added weapons, now you can see just how cool this figure can look up on your shelf or whatever. Um, price isn't too bad. Um, you're usually going to get 30 bucks being asked for this guy. Um, <clears throat> my suggestion is um, actually to go looking for this figure from another collector looking to clean out his uh, some of his stuff. Uh, that's how I got this guy and then another one that was in the package. Um, I paid around $25 uh, with a little bit for shipping, and that's not too bad of a price. Uh, not saying that $30 is bad either, but adding into uh, that the shipping it costs for uh, bringing that thing all the way from Japan or Hong Kong, or wherever part of the world it's coming from, it's going to start stacking up. So you want to get this guy as cheap as possible. And that being said, he's a really cool figure, and he blends in well with the whole ro robot Damashi line. The only thing I have to complain about is really just that torso joint right there, where the articulation is just way too crazy. It seems like he's something doing something from the Matrix, or God only knows what. Um, but anyways, um, love the whole different style of weapons, and... The headpiece being able to switch out and everything, that's so that's pretty cool. Uh, the thrusters are really neat as well, and this whole shroud thing is very, very neat. I only just wish they had um, had a cloth version, just like the uh, fixed figuration did. But uh, in any case, still a cool figure, and anybody looking at getting it, um, sh you know, will not be disappointed. Um, I also love the little combat knives as well. These things can fit into the feet of the crossbone Gundams. Very, very cool. So he can kind of like dance on them while stabbing them. Very cool. Very, very cool. In fact, you can probably, yeah, should have shown this in the little articulation, but the back of the legs, these parts can come off. They're supposed to be where the swords are or where the combat knives are. See, there's the handles. Uh, this one, you only get one combat knife, but like... The X3 comes with two, and I think the X2 comes with only one as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it would be very cool to get all three. Um, I only have this one, so I'm looking for an X2 and X3 now. But in any case, be sure to pick him up. He's a really cool figure. I hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.